Hello viewers, 4DIY is here back on the tutorial video for everyone. Now in this particular video here, I'll be doing a demonstration on how to test your vehicle's light bulbs. Now this will determine if they're still good or they are faulty and burnt out and need to be replaced. Now the reason we're doing this testing here, because not always you can see when the bulbs are burnt out here. Now for this bulb here, this is a burnt out one already. I don't know if you can see it in the inside there, but there is a filament just rolling around there. It's a little hard to see there. And it's completely broken between the two uh, wire terminals there on the inside. So we can see that is burnt out for sure. But in other scenarios, what will happen here is they'll just have a small hairline crack there. And it won't make a connection. And therefore, it won't light up. But it still does look like a good bulb. Now you can see this one here also has a... Uh, burnt spot in the glass as well. Not all the times they will have that either. Now testing the burnt out bulb first. Now this is a single filament bulb. Now you may find some that are also a double filament which means is that they'll actually have two filaments on the inside here and they're used on uh, various applications throughout your vehicle such as uh, brake lights and what you'll find also with a double filament bulb is you also have two contacts on the bottom side as well. Now this outside contact here is for the negative and these contacts on the bottom side are for the positive. Now if you do find that there is a dual filament bulb and you do have two contacts there, you'll also have to go test both contacts to ensure that they are both functioning correctly and there is a contact in between them and you don't have a faulty bulb. Now with the outside casing here first, we'll take our one test probe, which hold it on the outside. Then we'll take our other test probe and we'll hold it on the bottom side here. Now the multimeter is set to the ohm setting here which is to three places and you can see there is no reading whatsoever therefore this bulb is faulty and does need to be replaced. Now moving on to a good bulb here, same principle, one test probe on the outer casing, one test probe on the bottom contact. And You can see we do have some resistance but we do have continuity between those two terminals therefore this bulb is working correctly and you don't have a faulty filament in the inside. Now moving on to a halogen style bulb here now again, same principle, you can find these with a dual filament inside if they serve for both your low beam and high beam. Other ones you'll have separate bulbs for either the high beam or the low beam. With the multi-filament bulbs, you will also have multiple contacts on the inside here. So you have three contacts. One will be serving as the ground, one will be serving as the low beam, and the other one will be serving as the high beam. Now to determine which one is which, you will have to consult with a wiring diagram of either the specific bulb or for the... Uh, vehicle that you are working on. Now same principle again, we'll take the one test probe, we'll hold it on the inside there, and then we'll take the next one here, hold it on the opposite pin, and you can see we also have a good reading here as well, and that ensures that this is a good bulb. So this concludes the rest of my tutorial video. If you have any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to post them below. Also please subscribe to my channel and like my video. Thank you for watching.